Welcome everybody. In this video I will talk about a, a project I have made of an, a stock market predictor. Uh, this is a program I have made in Python. I will be explaining you uh, the basic concepts and the, the algorithms that are behind of this program. And as you are seeing in the image we have a, a blue a blue plot that is graphing the the true price in this case of Apple, of the company Apple, and our network that has predicted um, the price uh, that is very near of the real true price of the Apple company. So uh, this project, uh, I have made a lot, of, a lot of algorithms and a lot of statistics, and as you are seeing here, uh, we have an O8 healthy graph where you are seeing and also the the mean the mean graphing of of in this case of of Apple. I will also explain you that uh, this program can, uh, can use almost every company and can analyze in less than one minute all the the historical data of a company. Also, as you are seeing behind it here, here uh, there is the volume of 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 the payments of of the company, and as you are seeing here in 28, it has a lot of of volume, and during the years this company has rise a lot in the stock market. As you are seeing, we are now in 2019. And these values that are uh, are obtained in in Yahoo Finance from a map of Python uh, are from 2019. That uh, they are very updated. Also, I have made a correlation a correlation um, algorithm. In this case, uh, here there are a lot of um, companies. We have 500 companies, and that is why we have all all of them concentrated and as you are seeing here uh, if they are very correlated uh, we have a one and also if they are not correlated minus one uh, so we have like here all the companies and here all the companies if we zoom it here I put some companies and here some and we can see here uh, a great a great uh, graph where we can see uh, the different companies and uh, how they and how and which difference and uh, they have and they don't have. So the stock market. Uh, this project I have made and I will be explaining you. It uh, have uh, has four different uh, sections. The first is the web scrapping that we need to do in the different websites that I have here. This is the website where I take uh, the numbers, that the symbols of every company. And you have here, uh, the most important, you have here, for example, Apple or Amazon, I have seen before. Also, you have Tesla, uh, PayPal, IA, whatever. You have a lot of companies. So I extract uh, from this code that you are seeing uh, here. We have the code and uh, this is the table. So with a with a grep scrapping tool, I get all the all this data. Then with this data, I here with the data that I get from this uh, the symbols I get from this web, I use it to create a folder that has all the data uh, from the different from the API of, of Yahoo. So I made a different request for each symbol and I get a lot of different um, of different data of different companies. So this takes about three minutes to get all the data and we have here uh, the high volume, the low, the open, close, the volume and the edge close. And this is the, the data from the 20,000, the, the early of 20,000 to the last, last data we have. That in this case, 
uh, from Apple is uh, to 2017. Okay, so it's great because we have a lot of data and then uh, we can analyze it. As you are seeing here, we have the 500 companies and also I made a CSV with all the companies uh, at close and we have here a table I have made with Python that has all the data to make the correlation between the companies. Okay, so now uh, when we do the WordPress scrapping, the with Yahoo Finance and the website I have showed you, uh, we need to analyze this da data. Uh, as I said to you, uh, we have the volume and also the ad close for the stock market. And I made some some very useful uh, algorithms from statistics. That is the mean, okay? That you will see in the in the tutorial where I show you the code and the O8LC. That is open, high, low, close uh, algorithm. And also the correlation I told to you. When we analyze this data, uh, we do uh, we save it as I said you in the CSV file for uh, using. Uh, when we don't have, when we don't have uh, Wi-Fi, or only because we want to make uh, the load faster and without uh, going to the website. When we have all the data, uh, we can predict uh, in the future uh, with all this data and with all the analysis we have done. So I have made a, a recurrent neural network with a low, long short, uh, short uh, memory layers and I use an, an optimizer, in this case Adam, uh, All uh, most of the layers are LSTM and also we have some layers that are the dropout layers to uh, avoid the, the overfitting. So uh, the idea of the prediction is that we, uh, we need to to have uh, 50 days before uh, the the day we want to predict predict uh, the stock market value, and uh, the the output of the this network will be the the value that the the stock market will have in the next day. The, in this case, uh, the at close. So as I said, we use a. a LSTML layer that with this layer we have like memory and this memory will help us uh, to predict better the values. Uh, we have the, the input layer, the input value and with a lot of operations we get the output value but also we have like a, a, like a value that is a store for the next input that we have in the network. So it's like a memory that is very helpful for complex uh, complex optimizers and neural networks. So when we do, uh, when we use the, the optimizer and the, the recurrent neural network, for example, I use in this case the company HP since, uh, as I say, 20, 27, um, since uh, 2000, and here uh, we put, we have the days uh, that has passed doing uh, the 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 algorithm and here we have the volume the sorry the that close so this is the true price that the 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 company has had had and this is the predicted uh, price that we have achieved with the neural network and as you are seeing only we are uh, doing the 20 percent of of the entire graph because the other 80% is the training data that we are training to the network and the other is for testing the the, the neural network that is doing a very work, a very nice work. So if we take this and we zoom here, we can see that there are literal differences, but they are having the maximums and minimums that we want to have. And this is that the neural network is doing great because we can know if the stock market will rise or will decrease and we can sell or buy the stocks uh, with this this useful data. So uh, as I said, we have uh, we need to get 
50 days before and with this 50 days we will uh, use it for the input of the neural network and we'll get the day the next day uh, future so we we will do this through all the through all the days and we'll finalize with the last days so this is done uh, i i explained the the basics of this project and in the next tutorial we'll see how this work in real time with Python and with the code. See you in the next video.